they have their own helmets now uh, i think long time they have uh, their own helmets uh, okay hmm. it was uh, interceptor ke sath mujhe helmet aaya tha unka okay sal pehle ha 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 naya kuch laya ho unhone helmet mein lekin tha ek helmet wahan pe acha wo gaadi ke sath aaya ek helmet so ye yeah. okay interesting Uh, I speak as we are live now on Facebook, and we'll wait yeah. some time for the participants to join in, and then we can start. Yes, sounds good. Awesome. we will wait for people to join in <clears throat> yes yeah Yes, Abhijit, you are saying yesterday you went out to all the. Yeah, it was a two-day trip or just one-day trip? No, one-day trip. It was one-day trip. It was uh, uh, quite a relaxed trip. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> we started uh, around seven from Bosri. Oh, wow! And spent almost one hour in breakfast <laughs> near uh, near Manchar. Who paid the gate? Na, wape Akash me. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Right. Right, right, so right. After that uh, one break, uh, usual break for fuel. Hmm. Marshes got. Right, right. Now one one beautiful thing about uh, this location is, no matter which direction you go, you will find a beautiful place. As that's one good thing on this side of the world. Yeah. Sure. There are so many places around Pune. Right. Yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely. i think we we definitely have good amount of i mean uh, what i have seen is in the of course in the last 17 months things have been little very very slow for everybody mm. i don't think people have ventured out because of the lockdown and the conditions that we have all around us but uh, hopefully it will all start opening up we can go and enjoy this monsoon again yes, so, so. <laughs> i heard the news that uh, again they will uh, is it they're thinking to lockdown yes oh i haven't seen the news today not complete but, uh, not complete lockdown but uh-huh. uh, with uh, major restrictions uh, shops will be open from 7 uh-huh. to 2 pm only malls okay 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 all right so we see people joining in uh, vijay so uh, we'll will what we'll do is uh, we'll just check with uh, sakshi sakshi do you know if kundan is able to make it or he is is down So trying to reach out to Kundan sir. We'll inform you in two minutes. Just give me two minutes. Sure. Good evening, Vinay. Hi. Good evening. Good evening, Shivaya. Hi. Hi. Sure. Hi. Hi. Sure. <laughs> How are you? Good, sir. All right. All settled down. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. I saw your some of the posts. Very nice. Thank you, sir. All right. Hi, Vinay, Arjun here. Hi, Arjun. Thanks for joining, man. Saw your hey, note on the Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Great. Well, uh, a very, very warm welcome for this afternoon session. Uh, this, while people are still joining in, we'd like to welcome those who have already joined in. thank you for taking your time and uh, coming to the show so bagira lifestyle company and pit 
together are trying to bring all the super bikers together and try to build a community where we can uh, look at how super bikers community is evolving in india and what are some of the nice routes people can take where are some good food that is available along the route and also understand how different bikers experience their route, their groups what they have experienced with uh, with going through a certain route or going through a certain eatery and look at how they can how we can share all those experiences with the fellow bikers so the idea behind starting this whole journey of uh, when the rubber hits the road it's all about we we all know as a passionate bikers we all know that when we sit on the bike we start forgetting all the stress we 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 look at there is a road and there is a concentration and then there are friends and we have a destination to reach to so that is how the thought about bringing the entire community came together uh today we have uh, we have two speakers who are, who are joining us for this wonderful event this is our second season uh, this is our first season actually and uh, the second episode uh, we are we're trying to look at how we can share the experiences how we can uh, how we can add value to the bikers community and also looking at creating a lifestyle around the bikers community so that's what we are trying to do so we'll we'll wait for five more minutes and we'll get started uh, we are waiting for one of our speakers who is uh, kundan sule uh, who is supposed to join us but he is down with the fever we are trying to see if at all he can he is able to come and speak for at least 5 minutes and say hello to everybody when i said have... I... yes sachin uh, kundan sir has joined he will be joining us like he is oh. already in the meeting he is just doing us hi yes 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 i see him yes i see him all right fantastic great i think we can uh, definitely get started so um, again uh, thank you everybody a uh, quick round of uh, introduction we will we'll start with uh, a brief overview of what we are trying to do we started a, a small experiment with developing an application called fit 500 the whole whole idea was how do we bring a biking experience for all the super bikers in the country and maybe to the entire world eventually so that's how the concept began shaping up we have a small team which is putting a lot of efforts trying to ideate around how the application can be built we also have started reaching out to a lot of experts a lot of bikers who are trying to help us with the what features need to go into the pit 500 as an app and uh, that that's how the pit 500 came into existence so the pit 500 basically the name is anyone who has a 500 cc bike and above is what we wanted to target with pit 500 then uh, bagira as a lifestyle company is the company behind pit 500 which is uh, slowly shaping up uh, the whole idea of bagira as a lifestyle company is to bring together all the gears accessories destinations events and also how do we create a uh, group events where all the bikers can go together and have some fun so that is what bagira lifestyle will fo focus on so again welcoming all of you to this uh, second episode of uh, when the rubber hits the road uh, we will start with a brief introduction of pit 500 uh, uh, sakshi can you move to the next slide well we will yeah all right so thank you i think sakshi probably you'll also have to share the sound with that so now um, without any further delay we'd like to introduce today's speakers uh, abhijit uh, abhijit gore is one of the speakers who is uh, who is joining us uh, he is a avid explorer loves to travel he he enjoys going on bike he has a bolero where where he rides all all around the country and he has seen most part of the country on his bike as well as on bolero and he brings in a lot of experience uh, going through different routes in the country and he has almost ridden 3 3 lakh kilometers plus and that's an experience that he is going to share with us today uh, then we have uh, kundan sule uh, who is also an avid explorer and he has been to different parts of the country 
knows knows where to stop, knows where to take a photograph. So we we looked at one of his YouTube channel, Counting Kilometers, which has uh, great journeys which have been captured and posted on uh, posted on Instagram, YouTube, and all that stuff. I would definitely would like. Everybody to look at those uh, YouTube channels of these two individuals and uh, the social media posts. Amazing, amazing experience. We are going to learn a lot about what are some of the areas that we should be going in the monsoon and uh, learn about where they stop, where they take photographs, and where are the good food, good food places. You know, when we get out in the morning, uh, especially when uh, when I go out on a Sunday, the major attraction for me is okay. Where is the good food? Where is the good road? and who is who is coming along with me to enjoy the entire morning and have some fun and of course then there are photo sessions and then then we get to meet fellow bikers we learn a lot about how to take care of our bikes where the accessories are available and how to be safe so there's a lot of learning that also happens and it also is a great networking opportunity so kundan and abhijit thank you so much for joining today's session and i really appreciate you taking time and agreeing to come on this show today I know Kundan, uh, you are you are not feeling well, but uh, I really appreciate uh, your presence in this meeting today. So thank you so much. Well, my pleasure, my pleasure. Yes, I'll, yes. I'm trying to meet in the we uh, till the end. Let's see. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. All right. So uh, what we do is uh, Abhijit, if at all you can please give a little bit of a background about uh, how long you have been riding. What is what has been your journey with bikes and bolero? What are some of the destination that you have been to? A little bit of a background on those things. Okay, uh, let me give you some background about my journey. I have been uh, traveling since my 18th year when I got the license. License, and from that itself, uh, I started riding and driving. I yeah. remember my first. drive was uh, to goa when i was 18 years old mm. and uh, as uh, the goa tour was uh, just after i get license after two two months i, I remember okay and i was the only uh, license holder in that <laughs> group so, <laughs> so you were the first risk taker drive, mm. yes first long drive was uh, Pune to Goa, and back. Pune to Goa, okay. And yeah, then uh, I slowly uh, started riding with friends. Mm -hmm. uh, then I have been to uh, South Tour on my CDSS hundred. Uh, wow. CDSS hundred bike, yes, in Rwanda. That was fourteen okay. days tour to uh, Tirupati, Hampi, and Mysore, Bangalore, Uti. Wow, time. wow, wow! So you have graduated from 100 cc to the latest one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, before before 100 cc, I 100 cc I was using Bajaj A M T also. Oh my <laughs> goodness! <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, I should no, not say. That, uh, when I was in the 10th standard, uh, uh -huh. uh, my first uh, outside Pune tour was to Pratapgarh with my mom. Uh, okay, I, that time I was in 10th standard. Uh, mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. I didn't have any license that time. That oh boy! My first outside Pune, <laughs> right on Bajaj M80. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. All right, uh, thank you, Abhijit. Uh, Kundan, uh, can you can you provide a brief background about your when did you start uh, your journey as a biker? When did you fall in love with riding? Well, uh, I would say it started in the twelfth standard. But uh, is is it okay if I say this on the record? Because I was only seventeen at that time. <laughs> <laughs> I think we and all had those moments. <laughs> and it was on a mom's uh, budget. Okay. So, yeah, the that that was the that was the first bike that I rode. Like it it used to be ten ten fifteen kilometers rides uh, from Karjar. Uh, mm -hmm. If you know Morbe Dam is very. Uh, like in the neighborhood only. We right. used to go that time. Morbe Dam wasn't under construction, but mm -hmm. I remember mm -hmm. the first long ride that I did. It okay. was four hundred and fifty kilometers in a day. Uh, we did, started uh -huh. from Tarjat. We went via Tarega, Chakka, and we went to Bhima Shankar. From there to Malshes, 
and hmm. uh, from there uh, we got down via malches and then took that dasai wala route okay. but at that time it was pathetic but <laughs> still we managed to do that and right. uh, that time it was on my friend's uh, pulsar 150 cc the first version great 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 it, it was the first time i was riding a bike uh, ha- having this brake wow well we all have uh, we all have that experience riding various uh, different bikes i don't know how we became so adventurous i remember as abhijit was saying the first ride was with the m80 i also started my first ride with the m80 i still remember one of my <laughs> school friend he had a m80 and he said aaja main tumko sikha deta hu that is how it all started <laughs> and we didn't even at that time we didn't even know what uh, what is a disc brake and how much is the how much distance do you need to leave before you can hit your brake and stop we didn't even know we were just crazy at that time i guess but i think the eventually over the course of time we all have learned how to be a little safer we mm-hmm. all have learned about exactly. uh, yeah we all have learned about okay what does the speed what does the speed mean to you and we have started taking care of our bikes i'm sure you all you all also do the same thing so just oh. for the all the people who are listening to the show you just want to make sure that yes 20 years ago probably 15 20 years ago things were very different we could afford to take a m80 or a rx100 and go on the road that time there was not much of a traffic so we were we we're still be okay but today things have things are very very different the traffic and, has and, gone and up there is, there is no one to uh, launch a chalan against us because we didn't have any camera <laughs> phones back then right 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 इस ब्रेक वाला बाइक तो मैंने दो साल पहले पहले चलाया तो उसके right. पहले मैंने डिस्क ब्रेक वाला बाइक चला ही नहीं था दो साल से मैं डिस्क ब्रेक वाला बाइक चलाना शुरू किया या Yeah but I think the it is it's very very important for everybody to be safe it's very very important for everybody to understand what the guidelines are what the laws are it is better to be safe uh, I think that is the best thing that everybody can do now uh, one of the things that we wanted to do is monsoon is here and uh, we all know how beautiful it becomes uh, around pune i'm i'm based out of pune abhijit is in pune and uh, kundan is in mumbai uh, so karjat actually so we all know how beautiful it becomes all around in this area we have mountains beautiful beautiful sceneries uh, just going through the malsage itself is an experience one of the topics that we wanted to do, touch upon in today's session was can we follow the monsoon it is a long it is a big shot uh, when we talk about follow the monsoon they are actually monsoon starts from kerala goes all the way up to west bengal we may not be able to cover all those destinations all those uh, all those paths but the idea is that at least look at what is around us how we can enjoy the monsoon how we can prepare for the monsoon touch upon couple of rides that uh, abhijit and kundan have taken and explore did we go to go down that path and we also learn about what abhijit's experience has been riding through these routes so i'll probably start with uh, abhijit uh, abhijit i know you have you have uh, had a great experience going through the monsoon itself you have been to different different locations can you talk about your experience in the recent days where you have been what are some of the routes that we can we can take and uh, also touch upon what routes to avoid and if at all we are going down the path of a certain route where to stop you know eating is a very very big thing for all of us so where are some of the good food locations along the route so if you can touch upon those things that will be awesome yes uh, sure vinay uh, so talking about monsoon right uh, yesterday only we have been at to even the right uh, it was uh, via marshes ghat we uh-huh. started we started from uh, pune then uh, via junnar ganesh kind ghat marshes ghat and via karzat where we came back from uh, via lonawala so, okay uh, talking about this route actually i follow this route uh, almost uh, every year at least uh, in a day uh, at least in a year uh-huh. uh, doing my astavinayak route oh so, every very interesting astavinayak right <laughs> yeah that's the one yes oh, every wow. year i do that tour uh, uh-huh. in two days uh, if uh, family is with me okay. otherwise uh, i try to do it in one day also and if i do it in two days then uh, second day route uh, is definitely from lenatri 
मर्सिज लोनावला एंड बैक टू पुणे थिवर एंड मुरगा ओके व्हाई नॉट लेट्स टॉक विद टॉक अबाउट अष्टविनायक टूर टू डेज ओह व्हाई नॉट व्हाई नॉट यू नो द मोमेंट यू सेड अष्टविनायक यूजुअली आई यूज्ड टू थिंक अष्टविनायक वाज pilgrimage you know we will go yeah, only yeah, for yeah. <laughs> that is how we used to think but <laughs> this is a different twist you know the bikers route is as to be like route uh, why not <laughs> yes yes uh, so uh, generally as to be like uh, tour is uh, starting with uh, you know starting from morgao uh-huh. and it it ended to morgao so morgao start from morgao and end to morgao is a complete uh, tour that we do every year in okay uh, at least for one time uh so do you go in a group or do you go all alone how does the trip uh, how 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 do you manage that actually i do it uh, with uh, my family uh, but sometimes with friends also uh, mm-hmm. on bike and if no one is there uh, timing is not matching then solo also okay i have uh, i've done this uh, astavan act tour by cycle also uh, around 25 years back uh, that was in four days okay and this year also i am targeting that same four days tour on cycle i am practicing for that okay so let's let's see how it works awesome so you are a avid cycler too right you you go on the cycle into the lot of places too uh, we can say since last lockdown <laughs> <laughs> all right so what what are some of the some of the stops that we should be taking along this route yeah uh, basically astavanet uh, tour is uh, uh, act- already with uh, many stops in between so okay. uh, when you start from pune you you, you first reach to morgao that is uh, just around uh, 60 kilometers so 60 uh-huh. kilometer is not a big uh, distance big amount of distance to travel without stop so uh, at morgao it is the first ganpati that you visit mm-hmm. and there uh, uh, you can have breakfast very well there is uh, one tapri uh, next to mandir shraddha snacks mandir okay yes, next to mandir shraddha snacks what's so mandir. special what's so special yes, about vada pav vada pav and uh, sabudana vada is the special oh like. my goodness the garam garam vada pav in the rainy yes. season yo oh. and, and that with uh, sabudana vada with dahi uh, and hara chutney are baap re are mo be pani aane laga abhi to wo hone ke baad vaya don't you have which city that road is uh, i mean is uh, very bad i have not seen that road in good, in good, in good condition at any point of time okay. always bad road from, uh, especially from down to siddhatik shirgaon okay distance is not but, uh, it takes around 1 hour for wow. just uh, 25 minutes So you need a you need a cross country cross country bike to travel there <laughs> actually we can say it's a similar thing uh-huh. uh it it is not enjoyable uh, definitely with family okay and but it, it will be an adventure for the biker right yes for biker it will be adventure and they will like it great so, uh, before uh, siddhate ganpati there is one big river bhima river and in rainy season हम्म बहुत पानी रहता है मतलब ऑलमोस्ट टचिंग टू द ब्रिज वी कैन से अनफॉर्चूनेटली आई आई हैव अ फोटोग्राफ विद मी राइट नाउ ओके आई विल शेयर लेटर ऑन इफ एनीवन इज इंटरेस्टेड और श्योर 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 एंड यू कैन यू कैन सेंड इट टू या वी कैन वी कैन शो इट टू एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन वी कैन प्रोबब्ली शेयर ऑलमोस्ट ऑलमोस्ट टचिंग द ब्रिज इन इन रेनी सीजन वाओ देन from siddhatek uh, you have to go to ranjanga and Ranjan. their uh, the journey is uh, good from ranjanga okay. and all so how are the road conditions Ranjan. on this road apart from uh, down to this ganpati temple you mentioned that road is bad so leaving apart from that how are the road conditions otherwise if i if yeah. i look at the screen right now it is showing me as to be like road so yes. are the road condition good for the super bikers uh, roads are good for super bikers uh, hmm. except siddhatek ganpati okay siddhatek ganpati ke aju baju jo roads hai wo bahut hi kharab hai wo agar unhone chhod diya to baki roads amazing hai aur kal wala route to maine dekha kal jaake aaya hai wo marshid ghat se karsat tak 
वैसा रोड मैंने अभी तक नहीं देखा इतना सुपर रोड हो गया वो अभी क्या बात है दसे एक्चुअली बहुत छोटा विलेज है बहुत ही छोटा गाँव है वो मैं कब सोच भी नहीं रहता था कि इतना अच्छा रोड दसे में होगा कभी वाओ <laughs> बहुत ऑडियंस देर यू आर अभिजीत इज टेलिंग दिस इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट रोड दैट वी कैन टेक प्लीज एक्सपीरियंस टूमोरो संडे राइट टूमोरो संडे सो यू कैन प्लान दिस रोड ऑसम ऑसम और अदर देन तो मतलब यहाँ पे जाने के लिए कुछ तैयारी करके जाना पड़ेगा दो दिन का ट्रिप है नहीं एक्चुअली तैयारी की कुछ जरूरत नहीं है वैसे क्योंकि बहुत सारे विलेजेस है ऑन द वे सो यू गेट एवरी थिंग इन ऑलमोस्ट एवरी विलेज विलेज सो वैसे तैयारी की कुछ जरूरत बिल्कुल नहीं है ओके जस्ट जीपीएस लगाओ और स्टार्टर मारो बस अरे वाह जीपीएस की अपना पिट फाइंडर भी लगाओ तो चल जाएगा <laughs> वो भी लगाओ <laughs> नहीं तो मुझे कॉल लगाओ <laughs> अरे देखो सही बात है अच्छा यू आर सेइंग कि विलेजेस है काफी कुछ मिल जाएगा वगैरह सर्विसेज का अगर कुछ लगा तो व्हाट इज व्हाट आर द अरेंजमेंट्स डू वी हैव एनी पीपल मैकेनिक के लिए सुपर बाइक्स के लिए डिफिकल्ट है सर्विसिंग का अच्छा ओके अगर किसी के पास स्टैंडर्ड बुलेट है तो वो आराम से मिल सकता है आपको मैकेनिक स्टैंडर्ड रॉयल एनफील्ड है तो अच्छा एडवांस टेक्नोलॉजी बाइक्स अगर है इवन फॉर इंटरसेप्टर राइड आउट कोई उसको टिक कर पाएगा कुछ हो गया बीच में तो तो अदर देन टेम्पो यू डोंट हैव एनी अदर चॉइस ओके सो मतलब एक टेम्पो पीछे लगा के चलते बनाओ नहीं इतना भी नहीं कुछ अगर इफ यू मेंटेन योर बाइक रेगुलरली ना देन नो इश्यूज ओके कुछ भी नहीं प्रॉब्लम ग्रेट आई वुड लाइक टू ऐड वन थिंग हियर एक्चुअली सुपर बाइक्स जनरली इंडिया में दे ऑल यूजुअली कम विद आरएसए इंक्लूडेड इन द ऑन रोड कॉस्ट हम्म हम्म तो ये मोर ऑफन देन नॉट यू कैन ट्रस्ट ऑन देम ऑफ कोर्स एकदम प्रॉम्प्ट सर्विस नहीं होती है बट स्टिल दे कम डाउन हां 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 Good, good, good. So, uh, Kundan, when um, I think we'll come back to you, Abhijit, in a while. Uh, so, since Kundan, you were also talking about RSA and other things. I just want to understand, what kind of route you would be taking when you travel from Mumbai side, from Karjat side? What is the route that you prefer to take in this season? Well, I I I am located in a place which it's like fifty percent Karjat. I mean, fifty percent Mumbai, fifty percent Pune. So. <laughs> You so, have got the best of the both worlds. Uh, yeah, you can say that. Okay. So uh, I would like to talk about uh, two routes: one from Mumbai and one from Pune. किसी को वो पूरा नहीं लगना चाहिए. हाँ. Sure. Let's <laughs> talk about uh, Mumbai. Uh, actually, Mumbai से जितना मुझे दे, मैंने देखा है, तो do, don't feel bad uh, as you are also from Pune, but. <laughs> <laughs> Mumbai people are a bit more more busier. So hmm. for Mumbai, I'll talk about a one day ride, and for Pune, I'll talk about a three day ride. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, for Mumbai, we're going to talk about uh, Igatpuri side. But uh, don't get disappointed. I'm not going to tell you that Kasara Ghat me jao Igatpuri me wo fog ka photo nikalo wapas ao. Basically, uh, once you start from Mumbai. Uh, huh. I think uh, as Pit 500 has already posted, there is a hotel called uh, Dalvi Darbar on the way, just before Kasara. Yeah, right. It's it's a, it's a beautiful place, and uh, uh, in in respect of the location also and food quality also. Okay. So it's definitely something you should try. वहाँ पे रुक के आपका breakfast अच्छे से हो सकता है. Dalvi Darbar, you mean, right? Dalvi yeah. Dalvi Darbar. Right. Oh, okay. So and, just and, uh, just when you are mentioning that, I just want to make everybody aware, whoever is listening to us. Dalvi Darbar has uh, provided a five percent discount on the bill if at all they are going as a Pit 500 customers. So just an FYI. Well, that's please, great. Please, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Kundan. Thank you for that so, reference. So, so when we when we continue from there, of course, uh, Kasara Ghat is uh, one of the places. Jo kisi bhi rider ke liye, no matter super bike or a general bike, kisi ke bhi liye cornering or uh, I mean. Of course, safe cornering. When I when I mean uh, cornering, it's not that. Itna uh, cornering mat karo ki wapas sida na ho pa. Yeah, it's very very important to be safe. Yes, yes. No, uh, definitely because there are uh, totally different challenges uh, when you're riding in monsoon. Right, right. On the on the so drive, you, specifically on that, right? When you're talking about cornering and wet roads, uh, taking care of yourself. 
what are what do you do kundan how do you stay safe in the monsoon war well definitely i make minor changes in the uh, riding habits because in the monsoon whenever i see uh, the wet road i uh, my uh, all, my bike almost never uh, leans into a corner mm. yeah uh, downshift a, a couple of gears and i'll uh, take the turn slowly mm. because uh, that's the and uh, besides that i'm riding a benelli trk 502 it's a 250 kg bike so yeah. i can't take much risk about that <laughs> I know, I know. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah. As I said, uh, I'm not going to talk about uh, only that uh, regular Rigatpuri ride, जो मानस रिक्सोर तक जाके वहाँ से वापस आते हैं. I'm going to talk about three different places which you can cover it within one day. Mm-hmm. One, uh, once you reach Rigatpuri, before Ghoti there is a right turn. Okay. If you take that right turn, it's a village road. It's a small village road which takes you to Bhauli Dam and waterfall. Okay. Oh, there's a waterfall too. Okay. Yeah, it's a beautiful place, and very few people know nowadays. Of course, it's got famous, but uh-huh. it's a very beautiful place. Dam ke backwaters pe pani hai, so I mean, waterfall jo girta hai, wo directly dam ke backwaters me girta hai, girta hai. So Aale it's wow. a it's a beautiful place to visit, and uh, one of the best places for photography, bike photography. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, and uh, then. Uh, if we come back to the highway and uh, uh, ride along till ghoti there is a left turn from ghoti which takes you to upper vaitarna okay the so another village road and when you reach upper vaitarna that road is like there are two different dams complete hmm. uh, vastly spread backwaters aur uske okay. beech mein jo rasta hai us raste pe agar aap jate ho to dono side mein sirf pani hi pani hai are that will be beautiful beautiful most beautiful places oh my god port ke harihar port ke liye aap jate ho to usi route se ja sakte ho but Achha. not going to talk about treks today okay that is one more thing that will uh, cover i mean uh, this upper vaitarna and then continuing from that internal road we can ride to khodala and from there vihiga waterfall which is also famous as ashoka waterfall Oh, there are so many waterfalls on this route. Then, yeah, Ashoka waterfall is where uh, Shah Rukh Khan and Kareena Kapoor shot that uh, Ashoka, Ashoka movie. Ashoka. Acha, tab se wo Ashoka ban gaya kya? Yeah, that is known as Ashoka waterfall. Oh, But, movie ke baad Ashoka ban gaya? Ya, usse pehle Ashoka tha. Nee, nee, waise hi. Jaise Athira Palli uh, Bahu Bali waterfall ban gaya, waise hi ye Ashoka waterfall ban gaya. <laughs> okay. All right, all the listeners, if at all you want to go and see where Shah Rukh Khan and Kareena Kapoor took a dip. There you go. So you can uh, go and experience that one. <laughs> and it's, it's a beautiful place. It's it's uh, this place is worth visit. Yeah. And uh, of course, uh, as uh, we complete these th- three places, we'll be uh, around let's say three o'clock or four o'clock in the evening. So it's good enough to start our return journey uh-huh. and reach Mumbai by sunset time. So Fantastic. That, one day uh, ride. That's a beautiful place. Uh, a beautiful ride that you can do. I mean, cup. Uh, Egatpuri ride. Many of the sur- uh, super bikes have done Egatpuri side. I mean, this uh, Nashik highway. But what they hmm. do is they do, do uh, go to Dalvi Darbar. They have the breakfast. They do the cornering in uh, Kasara Ghat, reach Manas Resort, and come wow. down from the uh, other side of Kasara Ghat. But if you yes. decide to spend the entire day, you'll hmm. you'll be get, uh, I mean greeted with uh, some out of this world uh, sights. Wow. So. great great kundan great so all the all the listeners uh, kundan has given great spots where you can stop for taking the shots uh, where you can enjoy some food and there are some water beautiful water places waterfalls so don't miss these spots if at all you are in and around pune and karjat these are the places that you need to be visiting and experiencing the beautiful monsoon right now it is such a wonderful weather so kundan thanks thanks for sharing those uh, those destinations I mean, looking at these photographs, we are at least I am feeling that tomorrow morning is where we need to be going. So I think <laughs> this will be awesome. <laughs> this is awesome, awesome, great. Uh, going back to Abhijit, uh, Abhijit, you did mention about your Ashtavinayak journey, right? It's a two-day trip. So if at all you're planning for a two-day trip, where do you recommend people to take a halt? Where do you where do you think that there are some good places where people can enjoy the evening stay take a good break get rested and get ready for the next day right definitely 
for two days uh, journey of Ashtar Vinayak, uh, pe- generally people stay uh, near Ozer. But, Ozer? Uh, yeah. But Ozer stays uh, a bit crowded. So I don't like to stay at Ozer. Okay. And I, I prefer to stay near Lenedri Ganpati. Lenedri Ganpati. Okay. Yes. Uh, so Lenedri... Part of the is, crowd. Uh, yes. Lenedri is a uh, hill Ganpati. Uh, and uh, at the base, there is one nice hotel. Uh, hotel name is Girija. So I always uh, prefer to stay there only. Uh-huh. Then, uh, food at Girija is uh, also very good. Okay. And Pura Shanti place. Kuch awaj ne, kuch ne. Kya baat hai? Mas hotel hai, clean hai ekdam. Ha 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 ha. stay karte. Even uh, my friends also like, any family also like to stay there. So Great. you can go with friends, family. It is uh, absolutely good for them. See, th- these are the secrets that we never know, right? We will only just, when we go and we see a crowd in a place, we thought, okay, yahan pe stay karna chahiye. So I think these are the good secrets that we are learning from you guys. So, so thank you. Thank you, Abhijit. And when you stay there in uh, Leniadri, any place where uh, we should check out some good food? Uh, if you have time, if you reach Leniadri in time, uh, then uh, around 10 kilometers from Leniadri, there is one small village, Golega. And oh. there, is, there is one hotel, uh, Amantran Agrotourism. So Amantran there you can Agro-tourism. have... If, if someone knows Maswadi, Maradi, favorite dish, Maswadi, Bakri, and even chicken wow. also, but uh, while doing Ashtavanak, people will not have that, <laughs> you know, but it is uh, good for non-veg and veg, uh, especially Maswadi also. So wow. that, that place is also very good. To have. So what's, what's the name of the village? Can you repeat that for all our audience again, please? All the listeners. Gole, Gole, Gole Wadi. It is uh, Gole Wadi. Junnar. Gole Wadi. Yes, Junnar. Yes, and the place name is Amantran Agrotourism. Amantran Agrotourism. So yes. for all of you yes. who are listening to this uh, conversation, Amantran Agrotourism near Linear, 10 kilometers away. Yeah. 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 So that's where the place is to stay, have good food. Awesome. All right. Yes. Uh, one of the things, so when, when we look at um, the wet roads, uh, there is always a fear in typical bikers. You know, if at all you don't have the experience of riding in the rains, Many of the many of us fear that okay, gadi slip ho jayega. But uh, the super bikes are built to ride in the wet wet conditions. They are built with the uh, right kind of uh, weight, right kind of uh, tire distribution, this, uh, all of that stuff, right? So, what would you what would you recommend or what would you advise for the riders when they go on a ride during the monsoon? I mean, uh, Kundan definitely said, "Cornering mat karo," because apna road ko aise banana hai ki supervised ke liye bana hai aisa to india mein hota nahi hai baaki desh pe thoda ho sakta hai but usually tracks agar i don't say cornering mat karo uh, what i said is you need to be uh, extra okay, careful in that sure sure sorry my bad my bad yes. because uh, i'll just give you an example of the ride which we discussed uh, if you go to bhauli dam okay the, road goes from Bhauli Dam to the, uh, towards the backwaters. Pura dam ke pa- backwaters ke parallel wo route jata hai. And hmm. what they've done is the entire route is tarmac. Hmm. Hmm. And each and every turn. Okay. So now you, if you, if you know the basics of uh, uh, friction, concrete always yes. had lesser grip than uh, ah. tarmac. Yeah, so right, these right. are the things, these are the senseless things that happen with us. Huh. We need to be extra careful. That's it. Right, right, right. Now, uh, 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 Kundan, have you been to any of the tracks in India where uh, there are there are there are many tracks in Delhi? There are a couple of tracks in the South. Have you been no, to those no, tracks? No, I'm, oh. I'm not that kind of a rider. <laughs> okay. I, 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 see, basically, uh, I'll hardly run uh, my bike b- uh, besides six thousand RPM. I've never done oh. that. Got it. Except, Got it. Except, except for one video where I uh, set the top speed for many viewers, they had inquired. Uh-huh. I got a, a lot of backlash for that, but I was expect, <laughs> I was expecting that. But uh, I would never uh, do like above six thousand RPM because I uh, believe that is the sweet spot for any vehicle. Yes, yes, yes. Six thousand RPM, you you get ba- uh, best uh, fuel efficiency. You right. get 
controls the bike isn't exhausted you can yep. enjoy surroundings yes that, that is for uh, that is my personal opinion of course everyone yes. would have a different threshold correct correct well kundan you made a very good point i mean we we take the bike out to enjoy right and if at all we are just zipping through there's no point in doing that i mean that's why the tracks are meant right there's if at all exactly. we want to experience exactly. the speed go to the track but if you want to experience the surroundings and experience uh, the destination take take a pause you have to, the you have to set your limit yes 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 very well said very very well said i really like that kundan i think uh, on the facebook live there are a couple of questions that have come in uh, abhijit uh, some there is one uh, listener who wants to know tell us more about a one day ashtavinag bike ride so you you talked about in two days what can be done so somebody wants to know in one day can i cover all of this yes i have done ashtavinag in 11 hours uh, oh one day. so very that is lot of endurance ha wo ho sakta hai lekin टाइम मैनेजमेंट उसको बहुत ही क्रुशल है उसमें एंड मैंने ऑफकोर्स मैंने वो कर पाया क्योंकि मैं सोलो था तो टाइम मेरा हो सका मैनेज ओके इफ यू वांट टू डू इट इन वन डे देन यू हैव टू डेफिनेटली स्टार्ट पुणे एट 4:30 और मोरगांव का जो गणपति है मंदिर खुलता है सुबह 5 बजे तो 5:30 बजे वहां से अगर आपने चालू किया तो आप शाम तक मतलब रात के दस बजे तक मुर्गा वापस आ सकते हो वन डे एंड इट इट कवर्स अराउंड एट हंड्रेड टू एट फिफ्टी किलोमीटर इन वन डे इट इट मस्ट रिक्वायर लॉट ऑफ लॉट ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ राइट यू हैव हैव टू टू एंड्योर फोर ए एम अगर चार बजे आपको घर से निकलना है तो तीन बजे से तैयारी शुरू करना है मगर तीन बजे के उठना है तो रात को सो ही नहीं पाओगे नहीं नहीं रात को तो मैं तो सुबह नौ बजे सोता हूँ लेकिन जल्दी सोना चाहिए और टाइम मैनेजमेंट बेसिकली वही तो मेन चीज है यहाँ पे ब्रेकफास्ट में लंच में कितना टाइम आप स्पेंड करोगे वो भी है ओके ओके लेकिन कर सकते हैं डेफिनेटली करता है अगर कोई इंटरेस्टेड है वन डे करने में तो डेफिनेटली मैं तो पक्का ज्वाइन होगा कभी भी वाव सो फोर थर्टी टू टेन ओ क्लॉक ऑलमोस्ट आराम से ओके So there you guys you you heard uh, abhijit telling you that you can do a one day ashtavinayak trip only thing is 4:30 baje uthna padega 4:30 baje nikalna padega aur time mm-hmm. management time management bahut hi zaruri hai maine jo abhijit... one day kiya tha to ah. main ghar se mere 4 baje nikla tha subah 4 baje from vishrantwadi pune aur main dopher ko 3:30 3:30 baje pali mein pahuncha tha auto ganpati ke garke wow wow <laughs> and when you when you riding like this how much time do you take to pause take a picture and who who takes a picture i mean we we see some of these pictures here where you are already on the bike right so that must that means there is somebody else who is taking the pictures for you so who who takes the pictures for you uh, astavina agar if you are talking uh, talking about astavina in one day solo then forget about any pictures hardly one or two pictures and that is also if you want to take otherwise it is not possible But, नहीं तो आप गोप्रो लेके चलो हाँ गोप्रो लेके चलो लेकिन वो भी मैनेज करना पड़ता है वहां पे ध्यान जाता है हाँ, हाँ, ना, वो फोकस नहीं है तो ना वनडे करना फोकस है तो खाली वही फोकस होना चाहिए फोटोग्राफी का राइट हो तो खाली फोटोग्राफी ही होना चाहिए मतलब तो आराम से हो सकता है नहीं तो फिर आपको भी करना है फोटोग्राफी भी करना है खाना भी अच्छा है तो नहीं हो पा वेरी गुड पॉइंट फोकस ऑन वन थिंग एंड डू दैट वेल राइट अगर अगर राइड करना है तो खाली राइड करके आओ गणपति सब देख के आ जाओ खाने का चिंता मत करो ज्यादा या फोटो पे चिंता मत करो और फोटो का अगर निकलना है आपको तो अभी लोग इतने बाहर निकलते हैं और इतने अच्छे अच्छे फोटोग्राफर रहते हैं अपने आजू बाजू में आपको एक एक्सपीरियंस बता दो मैं अभी तिलारी नगर गया था जनवरी में तो कोल्हापुर के दो तीन लड़के आए थे वहां पे अच्छा वो इतने इतने क्रेजी थे उन्होंने हमारे पचास फोटो ऐसे निकल दिए उधर ही बाप रे फोटोग्राफर तो बहुत लोग मिलते हैं अपने को तो उसका चिंता नहीं है कुछ राइट राइट सो कमिंग बैक टू कुंदन कुंदन यू यू हैव टेकन सम वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग रूट्स अप टू अंबोली एंड दैट एरिया टू राइट सो कैन यू कैन यू टेल अस अबाउट व्हाट इज व्हाट इज गुड इन दैट साइड हाउ मच टाइम डू यू नीड टू कवर दोस रूट्स एनी गुड प्लेसेस वेयर यू कैन यू कैन स्टॉप टू एंजॉय सम गुड फूड श्योर श्योर But uh, before before I start, uh, one good thing with uh, me is uh, 
I carry my photographer with me. Oh, so, yeah, almost, almost all the rides I do with my wife as a painter. Arre, sahi. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you have, you have somebody to take the photograph. Awesome. Yeah. So I have my personal photographer. <laughs> That's a very good session too. Yeah, please, please. For that. Yeah. Talking about the Amboli side, uh, as I said, from Pune, there are a lot of lot of places like Pune to Kolhapur is one such uh, highway. Pune is blessed. If you don't Kolhapur, you have to go to Goa, you have to go to the whole Maharashtra border. Mm-hmm. So that, is, that is one of the uh, great things uh, that has happened with Pune. So, okay. Uh, I'll be talking about uh, the route Amboli, Savantwadi, Malwan and uh, Radhanagari, uh, which I recently did. Actually, uh, not not the entire route. I mm-hmm. have uh, Amboli, Savantwadi uh, way back uh, in the past and Radhanagari I did in the last month. Okay. Okay. So, uh, uh, let's talk about that. If you start from Pune, uh, if you mm-hmm. start... A- it's like four hours to Kolhapur. Everybody knows that, especially as we are talking about 500 cc plus. Mm-hmm. So there's a place in Kolhapur called Zhada Khalsa Vada Pao. Have you heard of it? Nay, I'm listening to this So I will be definitely making a note of that point. <laughs> it's it's just one kilometer inside from the highway in Kolhapur city. Ah, it's for this. Because I've never been to Kolhapur. I've never been to Kolhapur. The Bajaj Service Center is in Baju. Okay. Achha, so, okay. so, so you can uh, take a note of Zhada Khalsa Vadapa also and Bajaj Service Center also. Bajaj Service Center. Okay. All right. So uh, that's, a, that's a good place for having breakfast. And once you start from uh, there, you can continue to Gad Hinglers and from there to Amboli. It's hardly uh-huh. like uh, two or three hours more. So you okay. can reach Amboli by uh, two o'clock or three o'clock in the noon. And you okay. get uh, ample time to explore Amboli waterfall and Kaule Shed, which is a, a panoramic point in Amboli. Hmm, 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 hmm. So, Very nice. Very nice. You, you can enjoy all those places and uh, have a stay in Amboli only. There's, hmm. there's a lot of hotels available in a uh, variety of uh, budgets. Okay. Because Amboli okay. is a, a famous tourist spot now. Okay. So, next, next day, you can start early morning, have a... Uh, uh, Photography session in the Amboli Ghat, or you can explore uh, two, three more places in Amboli and then proceed to Savantwadi. Savantwadi, mm. uh, you have a, a dedicated market for wooden toys. Okay. Okay. Wooden toys market. You you Achha. get all the trains Very and uh, the different different uh, artifacts made of wood. It's okay. it's right next to Moti Talao, Jo city ke beach mein hai Savantwadi mein. Moti Talao. Okay. okay. And uh, you can continue from there to Malwan, another two uh, two hours odd. You can reach hmm. Malwan and uh, as uh, Abhijit said, here is no fish here, so fish can eat fish. Yeah, I heard Malwan, Malwan side, uh, the fish dishes are very, very famous and very well done. Actually, uh, mo- most of all, you get everything fresh. Okay. Oh. You get everything any, fresh. Any recommended place where we should not miss uh, if, if you like fish, I would really recommend the uh, jetty where we take a boat for Malwan Fort. Lete hai. Okay. Exactly. In that way, there is a fish. I don't remember. I think fish heaven or something like. I don't remember the name, but uh, there's only one hotel which serves uh, fish thali. Okay. okay. It's it's right on the beach. Right on the beach. Your okay. uh, Malwan jetty where we take a ticket for the fort. It's about 50 meters. Oh, wow. Okay. Because all the listeners, please make a note. If at all you are going to that side on the Amboli and my Savantwadi side, that's the place to have a good fish. Yeah. Please, please make and a note. Great for them. Great. Right. Awesome. And, and you, you, can, you can get to explore the fort. Of course, uh, in the monsoon, you won't get any water sports like uh, scuba and all. Mm-hmm. Uh, you'll get to explore the fort if, unless uh, the fort is, uh, the ocean is uh, very, what do you call, uh, fierce. Otherwise, mm-hmm. the fort, fort ferry working in the monsoon also. Okay. 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 And sure. uh, once you once you, turn, you take the route to Radhanagri, right? Mm. The, mm. the most uh, commonly taken route is Gagan Bauda. Okay. Gagan Bauda. Okay. Gagan Bauda is a beautiful uh, ghat. I mean, uh, I'm not taking any credit away from it. You can uh, watch some uh, reels of uh, drone shots of Gagan Bauda on my Instagram handle. It's okay. a beautiful ghat. 
but uh, if you want to see something which is uh, beautiful and not crowded then you have to visit radha nagri radha nagri yes oh wow okay i have not been to that place i'll definitely uh, uh, make radha sure nagri that it becomes one of the destinations and it it connects you back to kolhapur and okay. uh, of course as we all know kolhapur to pune is again a smooth cake ride yeah 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 so it, uh, it's a three, three days uh, plan if you want to explore more in malwan you can add one day over there so okay four days but Fantastic. Fantastic. one of the one of the places that uh, you should definitely visit awesome awesome well uh, kundan this is uh, at least for me at least all these are new destinations i'm sure i'm going to put this all on my next ride planning definitely going to venture into these new destinations and before the monsoon gets over that is that's for sure i'm going to visit all of these places <laughs> now uh, there is there is one question which has come from um, one of the audience is having i'll just read out the question as it has come out uh, having toured across the span of our country which state city destination would you describe as most hospitable when it comes to interaction or help from locals and which region would you call hostile hostile for bikers i mean this uh, question is both for both of you kundan you can I, go first and then i, I can I, have I, a bit i, I don't think there's a, i don't think there's a doubt in this the best place the most hospitable place is ladakh and uh, the most hostile place is uh, uh, andhra and tamil nadu okay mainly, right. mainly because mainly because they are not willing to understand your language they are not willing to interact with you they are not willing to understand your side of the story okay and that makes it difficult oh wow okay all right what's been your experience abhijit yeah if you ask me then uh, definitely uh, i will say uh, spiti and uh, if you talk talking about a particular spiti then uh, there is one uh, village tabo okay that i that i like a lot and matlab uh hospitality ki hospitality ki baat kuch alag hi hai us wo village mein matlab jahan tak mera experience hai ek hi baar gaye spiti mein lekin definitely worth wow so it's unanimous you know you know it's worth you and abhijit both abhijit yeah. and kundan saying that Ladakh city are the best place where you can get uh, very nice and beautiful hospitality. Yes. Or agar agar ab entire country ki agar baat karunge to Bhutan. Bhutan mein aap kahi bhi jao. Okay. Kisar bhi jao. Acha. Lekin Bhutan ke liye passport to visa wagera lagta hai na? Different country. Visa nahi lagta hai. Passport ya fir Indian voter card lagta hai. Acha. Dono mein se ek document compulsory hai. Aur agar aap group mein agar ja rahe ho. Ha. To उसकी भी अगर किसी के पास किसी बंदे के पास वो पासपोर्ट नहीं है या फिर वोटर कार्ड नहीं है तो उसका इंडियन कोई आईडी प्रूफ है फॉर एग्जांपल आधार कार्ड वगैरह वो भी चल सकता है वहां पे क्या बोलते हैं उसको मुत्तम में से एक ऑफिस है हां हां सर्टिफिकेट लेना पड़ता है कि ये बंदा इंडिया का ही है तो फिर वो ऑफिस लेके परमिट ऑफिस में जाके पुणे से लेके भूतान में से आसम से लेके आसम से बाहर निकला था मैं वेस्ट बंगाल से जाता बात है कितना दिन का ट्रिप था मेरा ट्वेंटी फोर डेज का ट्रिप था ट्वेंटी फोर डेज का great 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 man this is too exciting to be listening to all these things awesome apna gaadi leke ja sakte hain aaram se great great uh aur ek baat thi ki jab rainy season mein agar bahar nikalna pade so we don't want to go to the destination all wet right so how how do you how do you what kind of accessories do you take along with you so that you try to remain as dry as possible इफ uh, अगर बाइक राइड का अगर बात करेंगे हम तो अभी रेनकोट की सेवा जो जरा कोई ऑप्शन नहीं है अच्छा इफ वी गो विद फैमिली एंड ऑल देन आई कैरी चेंजिंग टेंट्स ओके सो दैट इज हेल्पफुल सो किधर भी भी रास्ते में ओपन कर सकते हैं या फिर चेंज कर सकते हैं अच्छा अच्छा मतलब अगर गाड़ी में जा रहे हो आप वाटरफॉल में भीगना है आपने को तो कपड़े कहां पे चेंज करेंगे तो फिर चेंजिंग टेंट ऑनलाइन चेंजिंग टेंट 
ऑनलाइन मिलता है वो 2000 में 2000 रुपीस में मिल सकता है अच्छा उसका बढ़िया बहुत ही लाइट रहता है कैरी करने में बहुत ही आसानी है तो आई रिकमेंड अगर कोई जा रहा है फैमिली के साथ तो 2000 रुपीस स्पेंड करके वो चेंजिंग ट्रेन लेके मानसून में फैंटास्टिक सी आई डिड नो चेंजिंग टेंट सो दिस इज वन आइटम दैट वी आर डेफिनेटली गोना ऐड इनटू द शॉप दैट वी आर ओपनिंग अप सून changing text yes, <laughs> kundan how do you uh, what how do you what is your gear for the rainy season uh, actually i i have not done much uh, long distance uh, traveling through car ha uh-huh. ha hey, bike ka bike ka bol raha hu maine manali and all mere car mein kiya hua hai dosto ko leke uh-huh. but uh, that was in february so it was there was no uh, rain liners and all but hmm. uh, monsoon mein maine uh, जो लॉन्गेस्ट राइड किया था वाज स्पीटी वैली 2018 में जून में हम लोग हम लोग ने स्पीटी वैली क्लिफेंगर रूट सच पास अच्छा ओके मैं भी था 2018 में ही था मैं भी सच पास में सच किलर पास में था वहां पे जो जो छोटा दारा का लैंडस्लाइड हुआ था उसके दूसरे दिन ओ ओके ओके या ऑल दैट यू कैन कैरी इज अ प्रॉपर रेनकोट व्हिच ओवरसाइज रेनकोट व्हिच यू कैन वेयर ओवर योर राइडिंग गियर्स हम्म हम्म गुड सैडल बैग्स और गुड लगेज जिसको आप कवर कर सकते हो जिसके साथ अच्छे खासे रेन लाइनर्स आते हैं ओनली थिंग और अगर आपके पास कोई ऐसा लगेज है जिसको आपको ज्यादा सेफ रखना है तो यू कैन यूज अ टॉप बॉक्स वाटर प्रूफ तो उसको आप यूज कर सकते हो ओके ओके सो इज इट इज इट कन्वीनियंट टू हैव सम गुड ग्लोव स्पेशली वेन यूर राइडिंग इन दिन सीजन not Because not uh, no matter no matter uh, what the company's claim none of the riding gloves are waterproof acha none of the riding okay so right. what, uh, what i use is 350 rupees pro, pro biker gloves because wo bheek ke jitni jaldi jaldi dry bhi hote hain oh, okay okay see that's a, that's another trip for all the very good tip for the listeners to 350 pro bikers clothes for the rainy season I, yeah, i'm not sure <laughs> if i should recommend that because uh, it's not certified for safety right ah uh, it's not for safety i know thing uh, they are yeah. all uh, not said but they come for 5000 rupees and still they are not 100% what okay okay one of the things that i have seen is more the bikes that we ride right uska jo piche ka jo tire rehta hai it is usually designed in such a way that आपको पीछे डिजाइन होना गारंटीड है योर बैक इफ इट ऑल यू राइड इन द मॉनसून योर बैक विल हैव अ नाइस स्प्रे इट डिपेंड इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द वे यू लोड योर सैडल बैग्स इफ यू लोड देम इक्वली इफ यू हैव एक्सपीरियंस अबाउट इट राइट या द द वेट इन वेट शुड बी इक्वली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड एंड देयर वोंट बी एनी प्लेस एनी प्रॉब्लम अबाउट इट राइट 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 but i think it is it's usually recommended to have a very nice uh, rain cover mudguard for the back tire yeah uh, that is one of the things especially when you are riding in uh, riding in the monsoon and if at all it's multi day and if at all you're going to stay somewhere you want to make sure that you are you don't get wet just because of the spray coming from the rear tire right so that is also very important okay good good awesome uh, i think there are some questions that we have also received uh, for The, from the people who registered for the show we will just quickly go through some of those questions uh, one of the question is how do you handle frequent chain rusting in monsoon uh, it is this is a question that is uh, that's come out uh, any of you any, any recommendations you have to lube it every every day in the evening once you end your ride before mm-hmm. closing your day you have to lube it because it takes uh, some time to get spread into the chain Okay. Well, right. It's a very wrong habit if you do it in the morning before starting. You have okay. to do it. Yeah, you have to lube it in the evening uh, when you okay. uh, end the ride for day. Got it. Got it. All right. Very good. Very good. Uh, this the second question is uh, how riders get sponsorship. I'm not sure whether we have the answer, but if at all any of you had any experience in getting sponsorship for your rides, our audience definitely would like to listen. अभिजीत 
on uh, your honesty with your work right right i think it also has to do with uh, tapping uh, them, if you keep tapping them uh, there are more chances that you won't get anything okay okay and typically what i have uh, at least i have seen in big events and all that stuff is there has to be some event where uh, they see that okay by bringing my brand associated with that event my brand will have the visibility and the brand will also get uh, something in return that is when they come for to sponsor or if at all there is some social cause for which it is being done we work with some of the non profit organizations where we see that there are a lot of brands who want to come forward and get uh, get associated with those brands to show that we are associated with this kind of a social cause so that is another reason, another way sponsorship can also be brought forward so we probably have, there are some ways of getting it but as kundan uh, you rightly mentioned uh, it's, it's it's about consistency of the content and consistency of creating that followers uh, what kind of information you are trying to share and how it is relevant for the consumers and that, that is the that's the best way for creating a sponsorship association with uh, with sponsors Okay, the next one is about um, i did not start my bike for almost two months any tips steps should i do for a better maintenance of the bike before i start sabjit so, uh, kundan whoever wants to go iska to ek hi matlab answer hai ki bike aapko at least 4 or 5 days ke baad chalu karo thoda sa society mein ghum ke aao that is the only right answer no other option Kundan, do you have any suggestions? Uh, no. Uh, hmm. What Abhijit said was uh, absolutely correct. You, you cannot uh, leave it aside for two months and then expect it to perform flawlessly on the first day. Right, right, right. I think one of the things that uh, anybody who has kept the bike two months without not not even starting it, uh, first thing is yeah, the first thing is get recharged. Correct. Don't even don't even try to crank it. Correct. because it yes. will overload yes. the battery and uh, starter mm. right that's true that's true i think it's best to ch- start with uh, checking the battery first and see whether it is fully charged and it is able to take care of all the various equipment that are connected to the battery because nowadays the newer bikes have a lot more riding on the battery power than uh, the older bikes where it just used to be used yes. as a starter right so now we have so many gadgets connected to the battery which is uh, doing so many readings and a lot of other things so it is better to check the battery first and as uh, kundan rightly said don't don't accelerate when you start the bike uh, it's just very very important to keep it idle for a while uh, then then look at okay and slowly take it out and ride it one of the things that everybody should definitely do is check the tire pressure is very very important and as you are uh, kundan as you said it's very important to loop the chain before you can uh, start riding it previous day it is better to loop the chain so those are basic basic things that has to be done before you can start the bike and uh, look at taking it out all right uh, what's the difference between going on a monsoon drive and what points need to be taken care i think we touched upon a few of them when then you have any specific uh, pointers that you want to share with the audience i think i think the uh, question is uh, the difference between monsoon drive and monsoon ride yes yes so i i think uh, abhijit sir is the best person to talk about it because he has a lot more experience of riding uh, four wheelers than me yeah abhijit all yours even even though if you drive or ride in monsoon one common thing is uh, safety safety point of view yeah so ride ke liye to slippery ka chances rehta hai jo car mein nahi rehta hai lekin uh, fog jo hai wo dono mein common hai to monsoon mein especially at ghat section always rehta hai hmm. to uska solution ek hi hai ki you have to maintain your speed and nothing else okay jahan tak mujhe pata hai koi bhi kitne bhi experience ho ड्राइव किए हो राइड किए हो टाइम पता के नहीं आता कोई हाँ। भी स्लिप हो सकता है कि कौन से भी रोड से हाँ। तो हमें पता नहीं चलता है कि गाड़ी कैसे स्लिप हो गई राइट 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 तो ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं होना चाहिए बस दैट्स द ओनली थिंग राइट राइट तो ऑल ऑल द लिस्टर्स इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं होना चाहिए 
especially monsoon mein zara dhyan zyada rakhiye slippery roads and agar pot holes rahega to pata bhi nahi chalega to iske liye thoda dhyan rakhiye aap ka ride karte waqt agne aur ek baat hai jo hum ride pe jaate hain wo daily nahi jaate ha at least 6 mahine 8 mahine ke baad hum wo road pe jaate hain to wo road ka condition hame pata nahi rehta hai लेकिन विजिबिलिटी होने तक आपको गाड़ी रेस नहीं करना Correct. No, no. You bring up a very good point. We don't take the same uh, when we go to the office every day. It's the same route. Excellent. So we have we have got gotten familiar it with all the nuances of that route. But जब हम बाहर निकलते हैं, that probably we are taking that route after six months. You are absolutely right. We don't know the condition. We don't know what has changed. We don't know how the culture has changed around that. So very very well said, Abhijit. Uh, everybody who is listening in. please please make sure that when you go on to a route which you haven't been uh, at least for 6 months be careful uh, it is your life and there are so many people who are also looking forward to you coming back home also so please 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 be very very safe and uh, take into account that that route that you took 6 months ago may have changed so be safe take take into account all the safety measures that need to be taken great uh, one last question uh, i think uh, where do we buy accessories and parts when there is a shortage of imported parts kundan you have any have you bought anything yeah uh, in fact most of the super bikes now have third party stores all across india okay yeah. all the online stores which supply uh, all the accessories and spares okay. and uh, besides that uh, for something like my benelli we are really hoping uh, don't take me wrong i am proud of india being indian but uh, benelli has a authentic store okay spare part store on ali express wow okay amazing okay i think that, i think we, we can we can buy the accessories on pit center eventually yes we are we are setting that up uh, bagira as bagira starts shipping up and we start bringing in all the accessories that's one of the things that we want to start bringing and connecting to pit 500 uh, vijay uh, thank you but uh, as kundan says uh, there are a lot of online stores today uh, we are we are also trying to bring them on to pit 500 in association with pit 500 to provide accessories and parts uh, there are quite a few good shops even in pune too where uh, where you can go and uh, buy there is one in camp there is one in uh, near the balewadi also there is one in baudan also so we will provide those details on the facebook uh, after the after the session so that way you can also reach out to them if you are looking for any specific parts right i think let's do a quick time check i think we are uh, we are over 6 minutes about the hour so we are almost uh, coming to the end of the show uh, thanks for well uh, are there uh, sakshi are there any other questions anything that you would that audiences have any live questions you have come across i think sakshi is on mute hi right. so i uh, what uh, if there are no, no questions coming in i think we will we'll try to wrap up this session today kundan i know you you are not feeling well you are down with fever but still uh, still been able to come on board and uh, able to spend this one hour so thank you so much for taking the effort and uh, helping us uh, helping us with this uh, session today really appreciate it I, i really didn't want to give up, give up on this <laughs> biker spirit <laughs> yes <laughs> all right abhijit uh, thank you so much uh, thank you so much thank for you. sharing your time and uh, sharing your experiences with our audience so both of you have been wonderful guests and uh, we learned a lot new routes especially on the astavinayak side i did not know and kundan uh, thank to all the audience you have been very uh, patient with all the through <laughs> one hour of time yes 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 hope, yeah. hope, hope we could give something valuable out of it 
I, absolutely. There's always something to learn because, see, I, I learned about your uh, Vada Pao shop in the Kolapur. I learned about uh, uh, the entire route to Amboli. So that I was not aware. So I'm going to take that route. So there is always something to learn from these sessions. So thanks for sharing your experiences and giving the tips. Uh, everybody else who is listening in, stay safe, ride safe. Make sure that you are adhering to the guidelines of the pandemic. Don't venture out if at all there are lockdowns. Uh, the ride can happen after a month, uh, but uh, staying safe is the most important thing. We are all responsible citizens of the country, and we want to make sure that we as super bikers lead the way to follow the guidelines and being safe and help the community. So till next time, uh, thank you everybody for joining in. Thank you, Abhijit. Thank you, Kundan. Hope uh, you thank had you a great time. I had a great time hosting both of you. Thank so you. we'll be in touch. Thank you, everybody. No, thanks, thanks for, for, all for the next episode. All right. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Have a good evening and have a great weekend. Bye.